Hello and welcome everybody. In this CVT I'm going to show you how to promote Windows Server 2012 to an Act Directory role. Let's click on Server Manager. You want to make sure that the server has a static IP address. Also make sure it's pointing to itself or DNS since it's going to be the first domain controller. Now click on manage and select add a role and feature. Click next. Let's select the base role base and feature base installation and click next. Select the only server that we have in the server pool and then click next. The server role will be uh, Active Directory Domain Services. Just tick the box. Add features. All these features are going to be added automatically. Click add features. Then select DNS server. And click add features. And click next. Click next. Read all the description for that about the Active Directory and click Next. Also, the same thing apply. Just read it if you like all the information regarding the DNS server and click Next. Click Install. Configuration require installation succeeded on CVT SRV DC. The installation is complete and click close. Notice that we have a notification here. So the server manager dashboard, you can see that we now have the ADTS. Once the roles and features have been complete, now we'll be presented with the two additional tabs at the bottom, which is roles and server under the roles and server group. Click manage. Go to ADDS. Now our server is displayed with the static IP address that we have configured. Now we have to click here where it says more. Now we'll be presented with the other two warnings. Now we click here promote the server to a domain controller. Click here. This option is only if we already have an, to an existing forest, an existing domain. But this is a new domain and an existing forest. No, because we do not have another forest. So the third option would be the one that we're looking for. Since this is the only domain controller, so we're going to have to select add a new forest. Let's tick the box. And what is the root name? This could be any fake name that you want to do. It could be, you know, your name.com. Or the name that local. In my case, I will select a cvtmaster.com and click next. Now it's gonna, you know, now it's asking to select the functional level of the new forest and root domain. For the purpose of this video, we're going to leave them as uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. There's no reason, to, you know, unless you're planning on bringing other dom earlier domains than this. So we're going to type a um, that director services restore mode password. And click next.
Yeah, that that's okay. No, because we haven't done anything, so there's no song. So we're gonna click next. Now it's gonna get the net bios name. This is the uh, where the Act Directory will keep this database. Uh, in a real environment, uh, most of the admins put this on a different drive or a different uh, volume. Click next. Click next. It's checking the prerequisites. This will take a little while. All prerequisite check pass successful. Uh, click install to begin the installation. So all uh, those are just little warnings and you can see the requisite check complete. Click install. Now it's going to reboot and continue with the settings. Okay, Windows Server 2012 has been rebooted and and as you can see now it's the administrator is logged into a domain. So the our domain is CVT Masters and the user is the administrator. Now let's sign in or log in. Server manage dashboard appears and is booting up. You can tell it's booting up. You can see the uh, progress bar is moving from left to right. You can see it there. Now we can click on tools and Active Directory uses in computers and there we go that is our first force first domain control now we're just going to create a user CVT user And we can create a user login. Click next and assign a password and confirm the password. And I say user cannot change password and password not expire. Of course, in the real environment, this will change. Click next and finish. Now Close that. Let's close the server manager dashboard and log into a, our Windows 10. Notice it's a CVT user. We on we are going to join this workstation. To the domain to the cvt domain not what the users here not what we have here only cvt user which is a local user to this workstation open file explorer and right click on this pc and go to properties and you can see that we have and see that this machine is not part of anything it's just part of the work group so we're going to make it part of the domain click on change name on this computer uh, member of we want to be member of the cvt master click ok now it needs an account with the cvt master permission to join this machine so we're going to use the administrator and we're going to type the password and click ok click ok if everything is well we should get a welcome message so there we go
now this workstation is part of the domain and we have successfully promote a, a server 2012 r2 to active directory now let's reboot the workstation and this time it should show us the domain backslash user here we go notice now it says cvt user but also it says the cvt user is the user that we create on the users and computer in the domain cvt master backslash user cvt user so now this machine is part of the domain to verify this we can go click the file explorer and then right click on this pc and And notice that it says the domain is now CVT master. This concludes the tutorial on how to promote Server 2012 R2 as a domain controller.